Hey bookworms, it's Jade from Bedtime Bookworm and welcome back to my channel. So I am doing something kind of fun today and I thought that I would vlog it. I was actually kind of on the fence about vlogging it because I kind of decided last minute that I was going to go to this book event and I don't know, I didn't really make any plans. I fell asleep like super early last night. So what am I doing today? You might be thinking. I am going to meet Victoria Swab. She is in Huntington Beach today in Southern California for the release of A Conjuring of Light, which came out this past Tuesday, which I'm very excited about. I haven't read it yet. I don't own it yet. I actually want to re-listen to the second book in the series, A Gathering of Darkness, on audio, and I just got it from the library. So as soon as I finish The Scorpio Races, which is my current audiobook, I will be popping that on, and then I can read A Conjuring of Light, and I just like am so excited about it. I have a couple friends who have already read it and said it was amazing, lived up to their expectations, all that jazz. So I'm really excited to read that. But today I'm going to go meet her. I'm going to buy a copy of A Gathering of Shadows because I like to wait until the paperback comes out. So I'm going to be getting the paperback of that. And then I'm also going to be picking up a hard copy of A Conjuring of Light. Get that signed and I'll be doing a giveaway for that. It might actually be a Twitter only giveaway. I recently reached a thousand Twitter followers and I haven't done a giveaway for that. So it's kind of what I have in mind for it. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, go do that so that you can enter that giveaway when I start it. So now I am on my way to get some food. It is 11 a.m. and I am starving. I've been so hungry lately because I've been running a lot. I signed up for a half marathon and been running like three times a week, which I guess isn't that much, but my distances are getting longer every time I go running and I'm just like constantly hungry right now. So I woke up like an hour ago. I'm starving. I'm on my way to get one of my favorite breakfasts and that is from the original Pancake House. I love getting their Dutch babies. They're so good. That is what I'm going to do right now. They always have like a huge wait, especially on the weekends. So I'm going to probably be here for a while, <laughs> but it'll be worth the wait because it is so yummy. All right, I'll check in with you later. Okay, so it is about 1.30 and I am about to pull into the parking lot for the Barnes & Nobles where this event is happening and I'm a little bummed. I'm running later than I had planned slash, I don't know, I didn't really plan this, so. But still, I wanted to get there around 1 because that's probably when they were gonna let people sit down. It's probably gonna be crowded, I'm probably gonna have a bad seat, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it's just a matter of you know, getting some books signed and meeting her. I've met her before too, so that's probably part of the reason why I'm so laid back about it. I was supposed to meet some bookish friends here, which I am still gonna meet them, but they've just already been here for an hour and I'm just now getting here. But I'm not the last one here, so there's that. <sighs> I'm really hoping my seat for this thing isn't too terrible, but honestly, unless you're like in the first few rows, all the seats kind of suck. I'm just really looking forward to meeting her again, getting some books signed, hanging out with some of my friends that I haven't seen in a while. And yeah, it's just, it's gonna be a good time, so I'm excited. But I will take some footage while I'm in there, hopefully, and I'll talk to you later. been almost four years since I sat down in a tiny little flat in Edinburgh and wrote the words Kel wore a very peculiar coat and then a year later I went back to Edinburgh and I worked on Delilah Bard being stranded in a boat in the middle of the ocean with her hands tied and then I went back to Edinburgh for the opening of book three and then I went back to Edinburgh about six months ago to do the very last edits on Conjuring of Light so it has been an incredible process, an incredible circle, and so surreal to come here again a year later after being here for a gathering and to see the group grow and the excitement still be there. Because every time I, every day I do this and I expect this is going to be the day when nobody comes and this is going to be the day when it's just me chilling with some empty seats and that's fine too. But I've been there before. Like I've, I've watched you guys multiply <laughs> and it's it's cool it's the coolest alchemy ever but it's also super surreal and super intimidating so forgive me 
for being slightly nervous at the sight of so many of you. Hello, bookworms. So I'm sorry for this terrible lighting, but I'm in my parking garage. And if I don't wrap up this vlog right now, I'm probably going to forget to do it. So I figured I might as well do it now and just get it over with. It's a little bit before 8 p.m. So I've been out all day. After the Victoria Swab signing, I had dinner with some of my like bookish friends that I had met up with there. Some that I already knew and some that were new friends, which is always fun. So that's why I'm just not getting home. I'm gonna talk a little bit about about the signing I didn't get too much footage I just filmed some of the opening stuff because I had a very terrible seat it was on the floor <laughs> you can see that from the little clip that I did take she mostly just had people from the audience asking questions a lot of people asked about like her writing process and things I always love hearing her talk about her writing process I feel like she gives lots of really good advice it's just so interesting and inspiring to hear authors talk about how they get ideas for books and how they go through that process it's just it's different for every author maybe starting like last summer last fall I have gotten the idea in my head that maybe I want to write a book one day before that I've always just been just a reader and not like interested in writing at all but when I started writing for my blog I realized how much I really enjoy writing and I really enjoy editing actually I like to edit things and make them better so I really enjoy that process and then the more I read the more I just I would like to create a story but I'm one of those people who like doesn't really I don't know I don't feel like I'm super creative and I just I don't have like stories in my head that are just dying to get on on paper like a lot of people have have that need or you know have that creative thing that I just don't really seem to have at least not right now I think part of it is that you know I'm pretty busy I work full-time I have my blog and I read and I have a YouTube channel so I feel like I'm like too busy to really have time to daydream and might let my mind wander to come up with these story ideas anyways this is <laughs> going a little bit off track but basically I've only recently played around with the idea of wanting to write a book one day and I love hearing authors talk about their process because it's inspiring for me to think that maybe one day I can actually do that and you know get tips from them as far as like what works for them and what doesn't. She talked a little bit about how like the very first book she ever got published she hates it like she can't even go back and read it because it's just she's changed so much as a writer since then which I thought was really interesting someone asked about like first drafts and things like that and she basically said like you're supposed to hate your very first draft it's supposed to be total crap that's all part of the writing process your first draft is really bad and you go through and you make it better with each edit she said that she does typically like four edits and that a lot of times especially in her early years I guess when she would have a draft and like do queries and try to get things published the final product that she had was like completely different from from what she started with. You should go into it knowing that things are going to change about your book and just know that it's going to get better. Like you're not supposed to like your very first draft, which was really good to hear. I don't even have a draft of any sort, so I guess it doesn't really like apply too much to me, but you know, just for like future reference. But yeah, I love meeting her. This is actually my second time to meet her when A Gathering of Shadows came out. I went to her signing for that tour as well, and this one was for Conjuring of Light, which I'm very excited to read. I love the series by her. I've also read The Savage Song. I didn't like it quite as much as the Shades of Magic series, but I'm also like a fantasy girl, so what are you gonna do? But I haven't read any of her other stuff, so I definitely want to read basically everything she's ever written because I think that she is a really great writer. All right, well, that was my day. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm glad I took you along with me. Until next time, bookworms, keep reading. Bye! I like to wait until the paperback comes bleh, so that you could enter, so that you can have it, so that you can, bleh, so that you can, my distances are getting bleh, but my di, I can't believe I already talked for four minutes, like what am I freaking talking about? Read a darker, a darker shade of magic, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, well that was my day, that was, um, oh bleh, alright, well, bye. Ugh.